Today is the first race of the Burton series, um, raced at Medway Cruising Club on the Gillingham Line. Um, we're on escapade today with Steve and Kevin. Um, Izzy's at hockey, so all is good. Um, beautiful winds, about, what is the weather today? 10 knots, isn't it? Yeah, 10 knots and sunny in September. How cool is that? Um, we don't have a spinnaker on this boat, so it's just white sails only today. Exciting. So we were actually quite pleased with this start. I've shown it all, which is why you've seen a lot of sailing and not a lot happening, because we made our approach to the line with two minutes to go, which seeing as, as it was the first time we'd all sailed together this year, the first time we'd all sailed on this boat, first, first race of the year, and we were going downwind with the tide, it was quite an ambitious start. And to be honest, if we'd listened to Kevin, we'd have made it perfectly. But I got a bit cold feet and a bit nervous as we got near to the line, afraid we might be over. So made him waste a little bit of time turning off to port. But as it was, we still made the second best start. Only the boat to our left was bang on the line. Everyone else was well back. So it turned out really well. So Ian, Ian said that Steve needed to do this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let it out a little bit, Steve. Oh, Get it out a bit. <laughs> Have you seen the length of my legs? Can <laughs> I get your pole for him? Yeah, please. Oh, bless you, Porter. Hello. So, we had an amazing start. I think we won the start. Um, but we are one of the slower boats and we're just getting fat out the back with all their spinnakers. <laughs> but I think our handicap is where we don't have a spinnaker or it changes next week, something like that. The swans just jived, I think, and they're goose swinging. Really pretty boat. So for a mat, if he's quite up. Can you help it out, Steve? Easy out of the sheet. Yeah. 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 That's, That's all right, it's Kevin, yeah. Well done. The cannon is right next to it and then it does drop off, so we're okay. Oh, yeah. 
Aim for the corner again, the tyre of course is going to push it down slippery. They call him Ingenious Steve, you know? Ingenious. <laughs> <laughs> Five, six, six, six nuts. Oh, because of Steve's foot. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, that's all right, it's good. As Hannah points out, technically this might not actually be allowed, but it is the burn cut. It's really hot. Yeah, so he just jived but forgot to put the camera on the back on. And uh, Gothic's caught us up. Everyone else, though, is miles ahead of us. Problem with being a slow boat in any fleet. But we're doing alright. Uh, you've just got to give him enough, and he has to give you time and opportunity. So if he changes course, he's got to give you time to react. So, um, but we all know where we're going, so just, yeah, that's enough of a gap. Remember when we get up here, we've got to see here in the gladys excuse. Yeah, we were saying there's a lot of yachts ahead of giving us a bit of a clear yeah. off, basically between So we just drive at 13, big, big and turbine. we're now going down to the North Kent, South Kent, which is on the entrance to the river. Yeah. And although the faster boats are all ahead of us, we're having a good race with Gothic here. We're bigger than them, but they've got their spinnaker up, so actually, it's all quite close. And as Hannah was saying to Kevin earlier, Big Matt there is playing the spinnaker. We used to dinky sail against him, so for 20 years we've been nip and tuck, because we're always close to each other. Oh my God, it's good.
slow boat, I think. I hope. <laughs> This whole race we've been avoiding tacking um, because we're not very good at tacking and pushing the tide but we just come right over here next to the mud uh, by Stangate Creek to try and get some benefits from it and we've just got some light wind which is not helping us. I think it's coming back a bit. Yeah we are coming in on Wizard and uh, the big swan though so um, we're coming back to them. to starboard and now we're heading to West Borwick um, to port. The wind dropped off about I don't know seven knots it's not as exciting and the tides got us so we're dropping back a wee bit we were doing so well and it was windy We've just gone hopefully round 19. <laughs> We've had to go right up into Kings North Bay. I think we call it that. But the winds have gone so light and this is a big heavy boat so we need stronger winds really. We're just we're just plodding.
on the final approach, gone around the last buoy, but we've just been really badly knocked, so I don't think we're going to make the line. Yeah. You reckon we will? Okay, Kevin reckons we will now. <laughs> Wizard ahead of us. Looks like they're on a good one for the line. So in the end, we came fifth out of the nine boats that took part, which given the light winds, wasn't that bad a result. Escapade really needs a blow to get going, and there's more wind forecast for next week, so here's hoping. <laughs>